Today's video is all about elevating your life and helping you live the life of your dreams. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Sometimes you win some. No matter where you are in your journey currently, I am here to remind you that your dream life is closer than you think. You just need the right tools, habits, and mindset to bring it into reality. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and break down how to elevate your life into five actionable steps that you can start doing today. First thing you're going to want to do is dream with clarity. And so what I mean by this is defining exactly what your dream life looks like. Once you have a clear direction of where you would like to go, it's a lot easier to create a path and put a plan in place to help you get there. So I want you to grab a journal, grab your notes app, wherever you jot things down and answer these three questions. What does a full day in my dream life look like? Who am I surrounded by as I'm enjoying my dream life? And how do I want to feel as the dream version of myself living my dream life every single day? You have to be super specific about these things. For me, I envision myself sipping coffee on my dream balcony as I'm living a beautiful life, looking over Lake Como, just having myself a time, starting a slow morning, basically being able to do whatever I wanna do and doing it in a beautiful place. Let's say you're not trying to really go that route. You're like, I really wanna build my business and create this dream business, become a mogul. Okay, well, what does that look like for you? What type of business is it? How many employees are you gonna have? What type of offices will you be working out of? What does a day look like for you when you get up and put on your power suit and go into the office and you get to create this wonderful business? Really identify specifics in your dream life. Something I want you to take away from this segment specifically is that clarity is power. When you have a clear vision, you align that with your mind, you align that with your heart, it's only up from there because you know exactly where you're going and now all you have to do is map out the steps to get you there. The second thing you're gonna to need to do as you're working to elevate your life, to live a life that you love, is to upgrade your mindset. So I recently got my real estate license and I have loved that experience so much, but we have to go to a lot of trainings. But I will say, at the trainings, they always talk so much about mindset and the fact that a lot of people fail in this business because their mindset has not adjusted to being able to achieve success. Success. And so when you're thinking about what we discussed in step one about gaining that clarity, then what does that look like? What does that success look like? And what does it feel like to you? Your dream life literally starts in your mind. So you have to truly rewire your thoughts and that is going to directly impact your mindset to help you be more positive and more optimistic on a regular basis. I recently did a motivational speaking engagement all about affirmations and how powerful they can truly be. When you are telling yourself that you're capable, that you're successful, that you are living the life that you love on a regular basis, you are literally rewiring your brain. You are teaching yourself to lean into the positivity and the growth that you have always dreamed of. This is a scientific term referred to as neuroplasticity, where you're truly training your brain to do exactly what you want it to do and then aligning your lifestyle to match it up and create that in your own reality. A really great mindfulness hack that you can try out is gratitude journaling. It doesn't necessarily have to be a gratitude journal that you purchase. I do have one that I like. I'm gonna link it below in the description. It's in my Amazon storefront, but anything really, even if it's just you jotting things down on a sticky note or on a piece of paper that you can keep up with, you can use that to practice gratitude every single morning. So I want you to choose three things that you're grateful for and then choose three affirmations that align with that gratitude, write them down, recite them out loud on a regular basis. When you are aligning your thoughts with abundance and the belief that you can have whatever you want, you can have this life that you've been dreaming about, then your actions naturally align and the flow state begins. One of my favorite affirmations surrounding abundance is I am abundant in all aspects of my life. I feel like that truly covers everything, whether I'm thinking career, finances, relationships, friendships, being able to travel, the kind of home that I like, Abundance is a continual theme that I have for myself. And so that's a really important affirmation that really helps me stay motivated and keeps me going. The third thing that you're gonna wanna do as you're working and toward cultivating this dream life is create aligned habits. Here's the thing about big dreams. They can feel so far away, like this big, unimaginable, intangible thing that you can't ever fully grasp. So a way that you can combat that is by creating small goals and then following through with consistent habits that are gonna help you reach each of those small milestones as you're working toward the larger goal. So ask yourself, 
what habits and actions and daily routines are going to bring me closer to living my dream life. A few ideas that I have tried out personally that really work for me are a good morning routine like we spoke about earlier, gratitude journaling, having a nice tea in the morning, really taking some time to connect with myself and feel grounded. Also scheduling, I am a calendar girl. Google Calendar is my preference, but I literally go in there and time block every single thing that I need to do throughout the day. I color code it to make it a lot easier for me to see where I need to be and when, and also to figure out how much time I'm allocating for different things in my life. And finally, prioritizing self-care. You don't wanna get so wrapped up in this idea of achieving a dream life or hitting all of your goals and milestones that you're forgetting to take time to take care of yourself, to pour back into yourself, and to reinvigorate yourself throughout the process. The biggest takeaway I would like you to have from this segment of the video is that success is not about perfection, it's about persistence. What you do regularly is what truly makes that impact in your life and helps you get to where you wanna be. The fourth thing that you wanna do, and this is a fun one, is to curate your environment. You have to create a space, an environment, a vibe that truly matches with where you wanna go, who you wanna be, and helps support you to actually get there. Your environment plays a huge role in your elevation. You cannot grow from a stuck place. So you've gotta get out of that situation and you have to surround yourself with inspiration. So first things first, get that vision board. I don't care if it's the beginning of the year, the end of the year, the middle of the year, a random day in June. You have to create a vision board that you put in a place that you can see it on a regular basis. When I was doing the speaking engagement during the Q&A portion, someone asked, well, like I made my vision board, but it's not working. And I'm like, well, it doesn't quite work like that. You can't just make a vision board and hope for the best. What you have to do is create a vision board Put it somewhere where you can see it on a regular basis so that you're continually reminded of your goals and you're reminded of your why. Why is this important to you? Why do you have these goals? How is this going to impact your life? How is it gonna make your life better? How is it going to elevate your life? That needs to be at the forefront of your mind and your vision every single day. So what I like to do is I create my vision board in Canva in a digital version, print it out and I put it in a picture frame. I use it as decor for my office, but literally as soon as I walk in this office door, it's right there on the wall and it's something that I see every single day. So on there I said, ooh, I have this financial goal for the year. We're in November, have I hit it yet? If not, what can I do to make sure I hit that goal by the end of the year? What changes do I need to make? What habits do I need to put in place? And how can I be more disciplined to actually achieve what I want in my life? A, another thing that you really wanna focus on is decluttering your space. You cannot have clarity and really lean into your creativity if your space is a mess. I don't care if it's a small space, you gotta make it work for you. Go through, get rid of things that you do not need anymore, get rid of things that are not really aligned with that dream version of yourself or where you want to be headed in life and truly focus on these are the important pieces and support tools that are going to help me get to where I need to be. These are the items that I need to actually align with this elevated dream life version of myself. If it's not doing that, let it go, you do not need it. And along with your environment, sometimes we just think about like physical space, but the people that you are around is a huge component of environment as well. You need to be surrounded with people who are going to support you and uplift you. And I always say along with this, make sure the people who you are choosing to have in your corner, who you are telling about your hopes and your dreams, your new business ideas and all those things, also have something going on for themselves. Because if they have nothing going on for themselves, they're gonna be salty, they're gonna be negative, and they're gonna try to pull you down and make you feel so small that you lose your motivation to achieve everything that you have set out for yourself as a personal goal. So be very, very picky about how you spend your time, who you spend it with, and remember these people also need to be on a path to elevation if they're going to support you on your journey. And the fifth step is to take inspired action. We've gone through how you can gain inspiration. We've gone through the fact that you should create a vision board so you can see and visualize yourself in this dream life. We talked about creating a great environment and having a good support system. So now it's just time for you to do the work. Start taking small, consistent steps toward your dream life. Emphasis on consistent. You cannot start something and keep stopping and starting over. You have to commit to yourself and realize that this consistency is what is going to get you to where you wanna be. And remember throughout this process that the perfect time does not exist. You have to start somewhere. So why not now? I'm not saying fully jump in and just go full throttle for everything, but I'm saying sit down, spend a couple of hours creating a plan, an actionable plan that can really work for you. Then go into your calendar and time block exactly when you're gonna work on the things that you set out to do in your plan. 
And then the next day you're like, okay, I'm ready. I have it all laid out in front of me. It's super clear. I see that I have the space in my schedule to be able to accomplish these things. So now it's time for me to actually do it. Each step, no matter how small, as long as you stay consistent, you maintain that clarity and you continue to put in the work is going to bring you to the dream life that you desire and the dream life that you deserve. So go ahead and go after it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you were inspired. Let me know if you're going to be trying out this five step process and what a current goal or dream is that you have that you can't wait to see come to fruition. Thanks again for watching. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.